So here is a logarithmic equations and we find trying to find X here. So the first given is that P log base P Q equals X squared. And the second one is log base Q P equals one over two X minus one. So I think the best approach here is to change each one into exponential function. So basically it's gonna be P raised to this, the power of X squared is gonna equal Q. So P to the X squared equals Q. And then this one here, it's gonna be Q raised to the power of one over two X minus one would equal P. So Q to the power of one over two X minus one equals P. Now the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use um, substitution. Uh, however, these two equations here, it's very tough to substitute them in one another unless we change this here. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna multiply the exponent by one over X squared so I could cancel it on, on this side right here. So P will be to the power of one. And whatever I do to the exponent on the left side, I have to do it to the Q as well. So the Q has a one, I multiply that by one over X squared. So this will be Q to the power of one over X squared. Now this will cancel. Now P equals Q to the power of one over X squared. Now what I'm gonna do, I have two equations here and both of them are P equals. So I'm gonna take this here and substitute it for the P right there. So what I'm gonna end, ha end up having is Q to the power of one over two X minus one equals Q to the power of one over X squared. Okay, now since the bases are the same, I could cancel the Qs and I end up with one over two X minus one equals one over X squared. Now I'm gonna cross multiply that into there, that into there. So I'm gonna end up with X squared equals two X minus one. Move everything to one side, equate it to zero. X squared minus two X plus one equals zero. And then I have to factor this. So this is gonna be X minus one times X minus one equals zero. And therefore, x would equal 1. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.